हाई फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू टूडे आवार डिसकसिंग टपिक इज अबाउट बुस्टार ट्रांसफर्मार्स बुस्टार मीस बुस्ट आप व्हाट यू हैव टू बुस्ट आप बुस्ट आप दोल्टेज बुस्ट आप दोल्टेज और एलिमिनेटिंग द स्ट्रे कारेंट व्हाट इज द स्ट्रे कारेंट वी उल डिसकस लेटर so the booster transformers is a is being used at the systems whatever we it is we will discuss about why the booster transformers is used still now it main motto is to control the voltage it's installed at the end of the power line raise the voltage to the desired value far away from the main transformers it is not near to the main transformers it is far away from the main transformers it is the main main points secondary connected in series with the line which line voltage to be increased it is connected in series with that particular line primary of the secondary primary from secondary of the regulating transformers it is where the um, booster transformers is used the regulator transformers is also used there for the controlling the uh, voltages of the primary of the booster transformers the voltage injected in line in phase with the supply voltage supply voltage so this is the uh, diagram of a booster transformers it is far away from the main transformers this is the main transformer this is the primary of the uh, transformer this is the secondary of the transformers and these are the trapping uh, showing here this is the tap changing uh, equipment as per the 1 2 3 it may be 1 2 3 these are the taps so we are just connecting the taps as per our requirement this is the main transformer Uh, this is the primary side this is the secondary side from the secondary side of the transformers we are assuming that the voltage is vs vs voltage is the output voltage of the main transformers and this is the dotted line is showing here the regulating transformers are far away from the main transformer that's why we are using this dotted line okay so p and q is a point the secondary terminal of the main transformers where we are getting the voltage vs pq point we are getting the voltage vs and the far away we are installing we have installed the regulating transformers these regulating transformers has lots of taps 1 2 and 3 by help of the tab we are regulating the voltage we are increasing or decreasing the voltage as per our requirement or desire okay these regulating transformers is then connected with the booster transformers so the booster transformers uh, is just in series with the output wherever it is to be used it is um, connected in series so by help of this tapping by help of this tapping we are regulating the voltage regulating means we are changing increasing or decreasing the voltage so if um, if this is the uh, if this is the um, ve where the ve is the end point voltage this is the supply point voltage this is the end point voltage so if we uh, define that the ve is the end point voltage then uh, we are just define the point r and s so r and s is the end point as per this diagram is concerned so in that case the booster transformers voltage if the output voltage of the booster transformers suppose considering the vb vb is the output voltage of the booster transformer it is in phase with the output voltage or the primary voltage of the regulating transformers and the secondary voltage of the main transformers okay so this main transformers voltage vs is in phase with vb and this vb and vs are the resultant of the ve so this is the booster transformer this is the pictorial representations of the booster transformer how it is connected and how it is used and what is the main principles and how the voltage is just increasing by help of the regulating transformer we have already discussed so let's start about the advantages or disadvantages of the booster transformers so what is the advantages of the booster transformer regulating equipment is independent 
why the independent we have, we have to discuss because we are just using here the tapping to increase or decrease the voltage accordingly as per our uh, load dispatch and uh, the these regulating transformers is attached with the booster transformers but these regulating transformers is not uh, attached uh, directly attached with this um, main transformer that's why if anything else problem will be there inside the regulating transformer so that will not affect the main transformer this is the main uh, point here the regulating equipment is independent so the main transformers out of service uh, out of service not depends on the booster or regulating transformers so if uh, booster transformers and regulating transformers will be damaged or will be affected by help of internal problem or anything else the main transformer will not be affected so this is the main importance or the advantages or disadvantage there has a lot of disadvantages more expensive this system configuration is more expensive and also the less effect efficient this is the less efficient because if we install the uh, main transformer that will uh, give you the uh, lots of voltage uh, efficiency because um, the output voltage of uh, the main transformers will not be any losses but uh, due to the fall line lots of losses or voltage drops here uh, so the power loss is there so this is the main disadvantages so the more efficiency Mm, uh, for the main transformers but is, um, for that uh, configurations the less efficient more space required we have to install the main transformers and far away we have to install the regulating transformers and also we have to uh, connect it in series the booster transformer so the lots of space uh, will be involved uh, for this configuration so um, the space requirements is more these are the uh, main main disadvantages of this Mm, uh, systems or of this configuration used where uh, it's being used it is used at the railway systems railway for eliminating the flow of stray current stray current and also the disturb the communication systems and also damage the electronics devices so we have to discuss about the stray current what is the stray current discussed about it the stray current is nothing like that stray current is also the electricity flow via the buildings via the uh, if we are discussing about the railway so railway has the railway track so the stray current uh, uh, to the electricity flow to the building ground and equipment due to the electrical supply system imbalance or wiring falls it's uh, referred the ex existence of electrical potential electrical potential can be found between the object uh, should not be subjected to the voltage so it is uh, it is to be avoided it is to be uh, it is dangerous for anything else or the electronics systems because the 5 volt or 6 volt or 10 or 12 volt systems electronics devices has been used at the railway track or the railway systems if, if there has a stay current so that current will be um, uh, damaged maybe damaged the electronics equipment so it it is to be reminded that the railway has to eliminate the flow of the stray current so it is the mostly important things that's why the booster transformers has been used till now at the railway system and also the uh, also it is uh, being used for uh, save the communications and uh, electronics devices so friend if you are interested to show my technical video to remind your old memories or to enhance your technical knowledge please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more updated technical and real life video Thank you. Thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you very much.